Hello everyone, and this is the continuation of the video. We make a ball, um, hit some divs, and now in this movie we're going to I'm going to make the walls movable. Okay. So um, I didn't put too much effort into this one because basically the code's out there. It's just a matter of adding it to my code, and um, I'll explain it a bit. But um, I want to move on to the next section as well, the, the fourth question in our challenge. And um, I, due to this, uh, you know, the slowdown of everything this year, 2020, of all the, it's uh, taking a long time for any post to come from China. So I, I ordered some, I should have ordered some lights from within Australia, but yeah, um, there's not that many good options here. So I ordered some from, Psycho Groupon, and it's taking a long time. Basically, I had some. I got it one of those ring LED lights. Hopefully, my videos will be much better. I mean, the visuals will be better once I, I uh, get that. And uh, yeah, so that I need that my videos are a bit darker. I did get a new computer um, last week, last weekend. So. Uh, this this video is actually better than the previous one. The, the lighting of this one, that picks up more light. But it'd be better if I have a light shining in my face when I speak. All right, so this is where we left off before. Um, two walls, header, two divs, wall and wall two, and basic JavaScript of what the ball does when it moves around the screen. And so what I've done is to make the walls movable, just go to W3 schools. Learn how to, there we go. So just on the top here, um, it's HTML and CSS, how to, well, it's in, uh, but all these cool little um, menus down the side here shows how to do all types of um, menus and sent to images, thumbnails, buttons, forms. Okay, let's type in draggable. Draggable HTML element. Okay, that's what we're looking for. And the more, the more section. We've got a draggable HTML element. That's what I meant by it. The code's out there. All right, <clears throat> how to create a draggable HTML? Element. All right, so HTML is quite simple. It just, it just defines a div called my div. And also within that div, there's another, there's another div called my div header. So they're defining a, a class, my div header within my div. So it's pretty tricky how they did it in the bit of text there. Um, the, the two different IDs, my div and my div header. That's how they define the CSS. It says up the top there the only important position, the only important style is absolute. Okay, so we need to make sure the div is an absolute div. So we've got my div and my div header. All right. And down here, the JavaScript. So we've got three different functions, actually, for four different functions. And it says make the div element draggable. That's the actual where you call you get the actual div you want you want to be draggable. So you call it with this drag element and you get the div. And then drag element basically has four different variables set to zero. And it says if this is true, so basically if 
um, it basically runs all the time. This is if true. So document dog element by ID plus header. So if it has the header on the element it gets, if present, the header is where you move the div from. The document dot get element by D on mouse down equals drag mouse down. Okay, so that goes to this function called drag mouse down. Else, otherwise move the div from anywhere else. Okay, <clears throat> drag mouse down. So. What it does, um, when you click down, drag, drag mouse down, it gets the current positioning of it. And when you click the mouse up, there's the um, function close drag element, which is down the bottom. And document on mouse move. So when the mouse moves, you do element drag. So you, you click it down, get the position. Then you go to this function called um, element drag. Okay, so e dot prevent default. So basically, that's um, changing the look of the cursor. Prevent default. It changes the look of it, and you'll see a different kind of cursor when you, when you um, click on the header section. And it says um, it defines what these new positions are. Is variable so it moves it along position one sign is one and two sign of three and four minus the original position and three and four is signed the current positions okay whenever it drags moves along and sets a new position um this element of style top is Basically, ba based from the top minus the position two, then it goes the left is offset left minus position one. Okay, and then goes back until you um, uh, lift the mouse up, and then it goes out. So it's not straightforward. It's not a straightforward um, procedure. Um, like at first, I was wondering what does e equals e mean. So it's like, yeah, it's not that logical. That I mean, it's not a code that I would write. So, but it works. So I'm just using it. So take the code. Okay, I just copy the whole lot. Let's do all of the JavaScript first. Move the JavaScript onto the page. And we'll just add it to the bottom of our JavaScript. Mouse down, drag element. That's right after there. So just make sure when you click on this script at the top, the bottom, very bottom script should say you highlighted as well. Yep, there we go. So it's all within the, job, the script um, tags. All right. So this one, this uh, these functions, mainly it's very illogical how they've uh, made it. It says make the div element drag. So First of all, we don't have a ID called MyDiv. We have an ID called um, Wall and Wall2. So I'm going to put the header inside the first wall. Okay, so I'll just get the ID Wall because we've got a, um, a div already called Wall2. I mean, Wall and Wall2. So I'll just put on the first wall just to show how it works um, to make it movable. So put that and so we've got that but we don't have a 
um, an ID called header. So what we need to go, go back to this code here. And so we've got my div. We just need to make that absolute positioning. And we'll just use this header. Header ID as well. And as you can see in the HTML, the one with my div header is within the other div. Okay. So we're going to put this whole um, this new div with ID my div header within the div of wave. There's no wave wall. Okay. So go to the wall div. Okay. And within that, make another div ID my div header. Okay. And and then end that. Well, it's actually ended within that div there. Okay, so that's all good. This wall first one. And then it's got the second one. It's cool. It'll appear within it anyway. And then we go to the where we define the classes. So this wall, the first one, remember to make that absolute, otherwise it will, will um, act strangely. Absolute. I actually tried it, relative, and it just scoots off the page when you when you try it with um, positioning relative. It must be absolute for the positioning. And then we put in the class for the mighty headers. I mean the ID for CSS for my div header. There we go, just copied it from the other page there. My div header. Okay. Just as it is. Okay, so that's all there. And let's see if that works. Save it. Whoa, what is that doing? So that for some reason, what has it happened? We've uh, done something very strange here. So it's draggable, but for some reason, it's the way I've done the HTML. It's actually, um, that's very strange. <laughs> We're like hitting against the wall. One hand pick up. All right, so that's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. It's done something very strange. Um, but it's pretty fun, funny, actually. At least we got it moving. But let's see what we uh, need to do to have two all divs. Okay. What have I missed here? Style. Style. Wall. Curly brackets end properly. That one's ended properly. That's not the CSS. Okay. Style ended. And then, then we've got this div wall. Wall. Oh, I see. I didn't end the uh, ankle bracket. There we go. That's all it was. Sorry about that. Happens when you try and do a video after your day job. <laughs> Sometimes make mistakes. All right. Um, here we go. Try that again. Take two. There we go. That's that's looking more spaced out. But as you can see, when the when the uh, cursor hovers over the header section, the blue part, he um, takes off the usual styling. Hmm. Okay, we can drag this anywhere on the screen. 
that's pretty cool. And yeah, it's, um, in order to have two people playing, sure, you can assign the um, header to the other other div as well, pretty easily. You can just um, um, probably not meant to, but you just say so might have had a two, I guess. Um, so just put the, the whole line there and put it after this one. I'll make it might have had a two because they're meant to be unique, right? Just do it. Make it like a different color or something. Might have had it too. Um, get Ellen drag. Okay, so we could probably just do this whole drag Ellen thing, this code, as well for War Two. Maybe let's try that. See if that doesn't crash the whole thing. Let's see if that moves yet. Wow. <laughs> As you just saw, it just flew off the screen. Because it's not... Let's try this again. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, now it's, not, it's doing weird stuff. I didn't refresh that. Okay. Now this was the relative styling. So what happens with relative styling? It goes whoosh off the screen and it's like way somewhere. Like, I don't know where. So make sure you change it to absolute positioning for wall two as well. If you're putting on both of the walls, absolutely must be absolute. Okay, let's try that again. Take five or ten, whatever it is. All right, let's see what happens. Beep, whoa, beep, beep. But if we had two mouses, it'd be cool. <laughs> but we don't have two unique mouses with two cursors. To make two cursors, I don't know how we can do that. But, um, how you have two player mode on the one screen, that is a good question. I'm not sure. I'm sure it's possible. I just don't know. So anyway, at least we got them both moving. Beep. Pop. Beep. Pop. This is called um <laughs> ping pong solo ping pong. Solo ping pong game. Beep. Okay, there we go. Done. It's a done deal. We kind of managed it. Got it moving, but um, not exactly a paddle, pick, <laughs> paddle stick ball game. <laughs> kind of is, but it's a very lonely game because you can only do it with one player. Not that one player games are lonely, it's just um, not much of a challenge really. It's just like a, well, not actually a game, it's just. Wow, look at that, that's pretty cool. Notice how it only appears in the top right of that second wall. You like, keep it still. <laughs> oh. Kind of fun, in a fun, kind of non-fun kind of way. Yeah. All right, there we go. So we got two sticks moving. Moving like a, moving like a, just the way they want to move. Oh. 
Okay. Well, <clears throat> nothing special, but I hope you liked it. Bye for now.